we're back on the uh, interior framing for the uh, grain bin. We're gonna start framing the curved walls. We'll start on our half wall to where we can set our loft floor, uh, and then we'll jump onto the big tall wall. So that's what we're getting ready to do. All right, well, it's about, uh, it's a good 105 degrees in here. It is hot. We got a hot, humid day, and it's just baking inside here. So I got a blower going here in the background, try to stir some air. So again, we're gonna frame the half wall uh, where our loft floor is set on. So I'm gonna lay it out here. Nathan's gonna cut my studs for me. Uh, we're gonna set the height of this wall. We're, we're gonna plane out the floor for the loft with the floor of the um, roof slash balcony on the back addition. That way, there's gonna be a door you can go straight out uh, from the loft to the balcony. framing a wall just a little tip for you if you haven't ever framed you want to make sure that all your studs are crowned the same direction because if you don't then they're gonna be going in and out so your wall is gonna curve in and out so every time you got a stud here so I got one coming in here I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna look straight down the board as it's up on edge so turn the camera here just like this and so I want to look down that board until I see where it's humping up and that's the crown and I'm gonna mark it. I'm gonna do that to every single stud. So when I nail it into the wall, I'm gonna crown them all the same direction. That way I got a, a nice, even, consistent wall. spacing on my studs are 12 inches on center uh, to be able to make this curve with my wall covering and my trim um, 16 would have been a little too drastic so we're 12 inches on center with our studs and then uh, starting at one end over here uh, we got it all plumb and we pinned it to the uh, grain bin with some L clips some steel L clips here uh, so our walls locked in for plumb both ways both plumb this way and plumb in and out studs again this is three and a half inches wide so we rip down little studs in there put them one foot on center like the wall and then we've got three eighths plywood that we conform to the curve and that plywood on both sides is what gives this header strength so that's our door header and that way we can maintain the curve for all of our walls Uh, this section of wall all framed, headers in. I've actually got my uh, support post in. It's going to get uh, LVL that comes across here and carries this uh, floor load for this loft. And then all the joists will hang her into the LVL. So uh, you can see behind me there too, there's another post we set up on the other end. 
So we're getting ready to set this LVL.